Hey, my YouTube friends, welcome back. Today, at the time of the stock market opening, DD stock surged more than 50%. So what's going on with DD and why the movement is so dramatic on DD? Let's find out in this video. According to a report from Wall Street Journal, DD's regulatory nightmare might be over soon. There is an unidentified source saying that Beijing's cybersecurity review of the right-hailing giant DD is about to wrap up. And the move would allow DD to return to the app stores as soon as within this week. And this report, which comes almost one year after the company was first hit by the regulators in, from China and had the app banned from the app stores in China, sets the share from its IPO price to like plummeted more than 90% over this year. Now this this like security review is finally going to conclude and going to be over. It's not going to be just the DD. Uh, the other two uh, U.S. listed Chinese firms, the first one, Full Truck Alliance, and uh, the other one, the Kanju, the online recruitment platform, their cybersecurity reviews are also going to be over according to the same report. And there's no surprise that all three companies are set to be fined and with the largest levy, levy against the DD uh, sources told Wall Street Journal in this report. And also they will be expecting to hand over 1% of their equity to Chinese authorities. So in our channel, we had quite a few videos talking about DD's IPO and we followed up when DD was hit by the regulators, by the regulations. So in those videos we talked about, actually this is a quite a dramatic year for DD, uh, which is China's most celebrated and valuable companies. And one year ago when DD launched its initial public offering in the United States uh, last June, it raised more than $4.4 billion. But just a couple of days later, Chinese authorities banned the service from China's app store and initiated the cybersecurity probe. And the investigation turned the company into a poster child for Beijing's crackdown on tech firms and stopped it from registering new customers. And since then, more than 90% of the market capital has been wiped out and plunging from nearly $70 billion market capital a year ago to now roughly about $10 billion now. So DD said that in last December that it will leave the US, US stock market. And there's no specific reason for that. Uh, some suspicions is that the Chinese government is asking DD to drop out from NYSE because of the security data security concerns. And also the company plans to list its shares in HK Stock Exchange, Hong Kong Stock Exchange. I'm not sure if that's going to happen. Um, let's see. So even though according to this report, DD is going to re-enlist in China's App Store and reopen to new user registration, but because of the one year of the, like the suspension of registering new customers and all sorts of um, security reviews, regulatory crackdowns, I think the damage has been dealt to DD anyways. Uh, according to the data, DD's market share has dropped from 90% from its IPO time to 70% as of uh, February this year. It dropped more than 20%. And also DD's orders, order number is also dropping. It dropped from 25 million orders per day when it IPO'd to 20 million orders per day now. And also DD's financial performance has dropped from net profitable uh, more than 1 billion RMB per quarter to being net loss right now. Also the situation in China, I mean, the dynamic COVID uh, policy is also like reducing people's daily activity, daily movement, travels, and that also impacts the business. So, so the conclusion, even though Didi's cybersecurity review is going to be over and concluded, there's still lots of questions and problems ahead of Didi. And as an investor or trader, we still need to be very cautious and get more clarity before we make a decision. All right, that wraps up everything for today. If you'd like to keep updated with this Chinese stock news, or uh, Chinese EV news. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time.